Right, so we are live here and I am doing a bare minerals face demo. So you can start to see just because of all of the makeup reviews that I've been doing and it's not all of them are clean. I'm starting to break out uh, more so than I ever have in a long time. <laughs> so you're welcome, uh, thank you. But what I'm gonna be doing today, we, we started with bare minerals and I realized um, there's a better kind of flow to doing this. Uh, and wanted to make sure that like we didn't just skip over them. This was the company that you most wanted to hear about. And um, I'm going to give my final review tonight, but it's a, this is a hard one because it's about 50-50. So there are certain products from their line that you can use that are totally clean and then others that are totally not. And so a lot of companies have this where they have like kind of avenues of you know, product lines that are good and some that are like more glammed up and more, you know, for full coverage, like they'll do two different things. So Bare Minerals is definitely not a clean company, but they have some things that are clean. So what I want to do, I kept going back and forth on, should I do my face with only the clean things or should I do um, like, the way you're supposed to do it. So this is where it gets a little bit troublesome because what we've been talking about is synthetics um, in cosmetics interact with our essential oils. So some of you use frankincense on your face. Um, I use oxy serum as my entire face, um, like everything. So it's basically a toner, uh, conditioner and moisturizer all in one and a serum. So you, that's all I use. Uh, and that has like sacred frankincense in it, uh, Royal Hawaiian sandalwood. It has essential oils in it with the ozonated um, jojoba oil. And I will tell you right now, like you can't, you can't mix essential oils or ozone oil with synthetics. Because remember, we don't put like peppermint vitality or lemon vitality in a plastic bottle. And you know why, right? Because the essential oils will deteriorate the plastic and then you're basically drinking plastic particles, which is really bad. And so it's not that plastic is toxic, it's that when the plastic particles get um, deteriorated enough, you really shouldn't be consuming it or putting it on your face because what happens is if I were to put, um, primer on, for instance. So the primer is, you know, their primers have dimethicone in it and there's a reason for that. So if you want your face to like have minimal pores and you want it to be really um, like clean looking and hold the makeup really well, well, dimethicone does that for you, but it's plastic. So that means I wouldn't be able to use any of my Young Living oils on my face at all. So when, I, when I'm using makeup, the only time I could do it would be at night before bed. And then, you know, I wouldn't be able to put on anything um, that has essential oils in it at all because it will deteriorate the plastics that I put on. So I could go ahead and just use, like they have a, a, a tinted hydrating cream. So this has um, SPF in it. It has titanium dioxide, which is a normal SPF, so non-nano. And this is their complexion rescue. So I could do that instead. So, you know, again, it's like, what, what do I want to do today? So I'm going to just show you, like, because my face is the most important thing that I don't want this happening. And this is happening because of the, the synthetics. Uh, and so that's, I'm going to just put on the rescue complexion here first, which this is not a typical application of bare minerals. And again, I just, because I've been, I've been kind of practicing with this stuff because this, you know, I had one of you get on my case, like, how come you didn't watch QVC? So that's frustrating for me that I would have to watch QVC, not a bare minerals company. It just, they sell it, I suppose, videos on how to put my makeup on, how to use their line. And, you know, it is interesting because I remember when Savvy Minerals came out, like, you know, they were doing a lot of different things on you know hey this is this is how you should do it this is the proper way of of putting on our makeup because each makeup's a little bit different and is going to have a little bit um different of a of an application process but part of it is like it's makeup we should be able to intuitively 
know how to use it. And I know so many makeup artists, maybe if you're watching right now, you're like, why is she using her hands? <laughs> Again, I can get a very similar look than using one of the, the buffs that I have. I mean, they're all dirty right now. So I could use this, but I'm just gonna use my fingers and then I'll wash them, you know? But, you know, it's, it's important to consider like, okay, I'm not gonna put the dimethicone on, but I'm going to use their brush. And that was the thing I didn't have when I did the first one with this. Uh, it, you know, I mean, a makeup brush for minerals usually looks something like this, or maybe I have a new kabuki brush here, but maybe a kabuki brush. But their whole thing is this. Now, why? And again, I had to watch a video on this uh, because it's it warms up the minerals and they're clear on saying that the, this is not like a powder foundation. This is minerals. So what we're going to do is tap some of this and we do this with our savvy minerals into the lid. And then I'm going to take the brush and put it in here, like get it in there and just swirl it around, tap off some of the excess. And apparently this brush, because of the way it's shaped is already warming up the minerals for your face. So when you apply it, you're just like light, lightly going over. You can already see it's fairly full coverage. And those of you guys, and see it got all over my, all over my shirt here. But those of you who have followed me know that I always use a warmer look on my face because I wanna get down the readiness, that redness that's on my face. So I usually do my makeup without any clothes on. We won't be doing that in these videos. But uh, the thing is, I do tend to go back, you know, when they showed the video that that's all they did and they just used this for the whole face. And I can never get it to be what they show on the videos. Like I can never get the whole, like, like right now, this is not covering my neck. There's not enough product on here. So I have to go back and use a little bit more. And I've found that like, if I use a lighter touch, I can get the coverage to be what I need it to be. But remember, what I'm using here is not the original. I'm using the matte. The matte version of Bare Minerals is a newer version that has no bismuth in it. And there aren't any synthetics in this powder. So right now, I, I haven't put any synthetics on my face, which is good. Now, I will say, using the primer, their primer beforehand, makes it work better. It just does. The makeup slides onto your face better and holds on because of the plastic. <laughs> so again, I just, I'm like, I feel like I'm beating this dead horse here because we're just trying to really, I'm trying to get into your head to remember that plastics are not toxic. It's, do you want your face to breathe? I do. But the second biggest issue is we use oils. So the oil use is gonna be a problem for many of us because if you use like lavender, lemon and peppermint now along, along my you know, lymphatic area here, that those oils are gonna attack the very first synthetics they reach, which would be the dimethicone in the primer. So again, I didn't wanna use the primer. Um, the other issue with this brand uh, is, Again, I was kind of bummed about this. I haven't found one of their blushes that doesn't have synthetics in it. So that's kind of a, an issue of like, do you wanna use them? Do you not wanna use them? Depending on like, I think about it this two ways. One, if I didn't put any oils on my face, which I didn't actually today, I just used a, um, a base um, a carrier oil without essential oils. And that's fine because then I could use their blush here. And this blush is way too dark. I still have yet to find a blush in their lineup that is not like super heavy, but I'm just gonna take a small amount knowing that I'm not applying any essential oils to my cheeks at all today. So this is where you have to just be aware. You know, I was having a
okay, I guess I'm back. We had a internet loss, so hopefully it's still streaming. <laughs> so there'll just be a little blip in there. So what I was saying is just the, you know, we just want to consider what we're putting on our face. And I, I kind of lost my train of thought because that was a little shocking. The whole thing went down. We have a huge rainstorm here today. So, um, so but back to then, like my whole face, what I was originally going to do was just the whole face because that's the main skin area and the consideration for that so you can kind of like pinpoint areas that don't matter as much like your eyelashes because they're not touching your skin so if you wanted to use a synthetic mascara that was totally plastic as long as you're not putting you know i don't put lavender on my eyes you know uh, i might at night because i do with the oxy serum all over but they're not interposing each you know they're not inner getting involved with each other too much. So, so your eyes, you know, if it's something where you find something that has something that's not toxic, right? So meaning if it has dimethicone in it, which shouldn't cause any toxicity to you, as long as you don't put essential oils in it, you're technically okay. So the thing that I did find though, and again, I'm gonna go over this in more detail tonight, is some of the colors do have like synthetic colors, which that's a like pretty hardcore no for me. So this is a hard one because this goes into like the company 100% pure, um, pretty much 100% pure, except that they have an ingredient that I can't use, right? So wheat germ oil. So for me, I wouldn't be able to use it. So that's where I want, I'm hoping that this whole process has enabled you all to see that, you know, makeup is not a one size fits all thing. It's something where you can decide, okay, what is going to be the most problematic for me. And honestly, like eye makeup that moves is problematic for me. So if I can find an eye makeup that stays put, I don't ever have issues on my eyes. You know what I mean? Like I don't ever have um, zits or dry skin on my eyelids, but some of you might. And so that would mean you might have to go fully fully natural. So I'm going to use their eyeliner goes on really smooth. Again, I'm going to tell you my thoughts about it tonight, see if it moved around, tell you the ingredients that aren't so good, the ingredients that are fine, like help you to understand what's what's good and what's not. Uh, their eye makeup is I have their cool neutrals makeup palette here. Um, so I'm going to use it and see if it causes anything in my eyes. Because again, we had a couple products already where I did the eye, the eye makeup and the product itself was itching my eyes terribly. So again, for me, I have very sensitive skin. So I'm going to let you know. I'm testing this out. I had red, itchy eyes all day yesterday. It was terrible that were like running. So I will let you know how we do with this one. And then I'm going to show you a hack that you can do with minerals. You just have to find the right color. But um, I spent a good amount of time in Ulta because Ulta is the one that you can go in and buy, you know, check the colors to find the, the exact right match. It took a long time, by the way. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you a little hack that I do with Savvy Minerals, but I'm out. I'm out of Savvy Minerals to do this hack. So there's a couple companies I'm going to show you this hack with because I'm not going to color my hair, but I'm going to show you how you can do your gray and get that um, covered. Let me see. Am I am I fairly <laughs> am I fairly even? So when I'm doing this in the in the big mirror at my bathroom, I just kind of get in there on the ridge line pretty heavily. I'm using taupe two here just to kind of give that definition. But then I want to go back in with the Ecru one. Is that how you say that? Ecru, Ecru, and just re-highlight the the center and then the top part. Okay, so not bad. And then the I'm going to use their Maximiste Maximiste eyelash. So let's see how this goes on. Ugh. Already it looks kind of clumpy. One of the things in the winter time, it's not super cold in here like it was the other day, but one of the things in the winter time that you want to be real aware of is how cold it is in your bathroom. So like it's nice to have like the heater on or the space heater on just to get it up to like 70 degrees in there so that all your makeup isn't totally bad because makeup goes on way better when it's not um, clumping on. And already like I can see a lot of clumps on this. 
So this is this is going to be a no, probably right off the bat. But just just being honest, I'm going to show you what this looks like, and I already see a few a few flash mistakes, and I'm going to abandon that little mirror and go ahead and use the other. Now, I mean, really, makeup like. It shouldn't, I don't know if that, see how much clumpiness that is? You guys can totally see that. That that shouldn't do that. So I'm sorry, Bare Minerals, but you gotta fix your mascara. And maybe I should get a different, a different mascara from them. But I got the one that was like the most popular. But yeah, that's hard because then you're getting like really too much on your eyes. It doesn't look that bad, but it's pretty clump. It's clumpier than I like. So I'm not like a huge fan of thick mascara. Some of you guys love that. So you go for it. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. Um, and again, it's not that cold in here, but see like the clump right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if I can get rid of it here because I'm looking down, but so anyhow. <laughs> how I can see it when you get for you guys to see it at the same time it's almost impossible uh but it's uh it's okay and so let me do their lip I'm using I don't know ingenuity ingenuity it's just a gloss and I tend to not like to do super got makeup here dark lips I used to, I used to do much darker lips, but I'm so pale anyways that I find that it just draws so much attention. And I have thin, like a thin upper lip. So I don't, I'd rather draw attention to my eyes than my lips. So part of doing makeup is, is kind of figuring out what areas in your face that you wanna highlight more <laughs> and go for it there. Um, so whenever I wear like dark lipstick, I'm always like, oh, it makes my lip look super thin. So that's just me. So they also have the veil. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that this does have the bismuth in it. So again, if you are allergic to bismuth, you can't use this. Um, but again, I, I have to go back and check all the ingredients. So I usually check mostly the ingredients so I know, but then I do a full, I'll do a full write up tonight so that you can see everything I used and what's in it. So this is just a translucent, translucent, mostly, it's a little bit pink. There's a little bit of color in there. Um, original translucent uh, veil. And that just helps with shine, uh, making sure that I'm not gonna get like super, super oily. So it's not bad, you know, it goes on fairly well. I think it stays on well. I, <clears throat> again, we tested this in the beginning but I didn't put it on right. And um, I just wanted you guys to kind of see it applied properly, uh, talking about like some of the other things as well. But uh, we have several other companies that we're doing. So just stay tuned, stick around, we're getting there. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to make your own decisions on what you think is gonna be good and not. Um, coming up, we have uh, like Juice Beauty, full makeup, uh, we have, uh, with Simplicity, we have Tubes & Co. We have um, Root Pretty, the full one, because we never did a full demo for them. So uh, I'm trying to think who else did we miss? Like we're getting there. So like, it's been really fun. Um, and I hope that you join the live Zoom tonight. So the Zoom link is always the same. It's technically what I'm on right now, but I'm not letting anybody in because we don't have an open Q&A for the, for the live demos. But you can catch these as replays on jenstips.com. It's a YouTube channel, Jen O'Sullivan. So Jen's Tips, J-E-N-S, and then T-I-P-S.com. Or you can join the Facebook group if you are on Facebook uh, with uh, Club 31 Oils. And that's where we're posting all of the fails and passes and all of the information that you've ever wanted to know about what ingredients are in certain companies and why they fail or why they pass. And, uh, and also there'll be some discount codes because remember, I don't sell any of this stuff. So I'm working with the companies to say, hey, 
if you pass, I, I'm clearly not com calling companies that don't pass because they would not care. <laughs> um, I'm going to be reaching out to the companies that do pass to ask them if they can give you guys a discount code so that you could try it for the first time. So just kind of hold your horses as we move forward. And um, and then you can also join my Instagram. I'm going to start doing mini reels on there about all the brands so that you know a quick way to share out with your friends like, hey, check this out. This didn't pass or this did pass. So uh, and that's at Jen Author. So I hope, again, this has been informative and I'm going to see how it wears today. So far, it's not causing problems. And like I could feel yesterday's makeup trial immediately. I was I was feeling like a little bit of the itch. So we'll see. Oh, and I didn't tell you, show you the last thing. So I'm using uh and i used fairly light and this was a long time finding the color that would work so on matte the matte foundation was fair fairly medium excuse me fairly medium and that's the one that will match warm to the best if you're trying to find one but you can also just go in okay so i'm using another foundation color that's more yellow and this one is just light zero five putting it in the lid and i'm using a brush here and what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you here, is I'm just going to flatten my hairline out and I'm going to paint this on and it's going to cover in and I just kind of pull it through. It's going to literally cover the gray. Now you have to be real careful that you don't get this on the skin line because then you have this weird colored skin line. You want to just hit the hair. And I found that if I ever get it on the on the skin part line that I can just like use a um, microfiber cloth and just kind of get it in there so that it's pulling. Cause I'll tell you right now, minerals don't come off your hair easily. So like for instance, I, when I color my hair, this is, this is the drama of getting ready to color my hair. So I go to a point and I'm not even that close. I mean, there's enough there for me to show you this, but when it gets grown out enough, I'm doing this, right? I'm putting the mineral makeup on my, to actually cover over and you can use brow, um, brow liner stuff too as well. But the interesting thing about this is that you can't color your hair then that day because if this is on, this blocks uh, any minerals, minerals will block hair dye. So when I get to the point of needing to dye my hair, that's when I start wearing hats. I'll wear a hat, like I'll wash my hair and then wear the hat for the day and then color my hair the next morning because it can't have anything in it. It can't have dry shampoos in it or anything, especially if you have like pretty gray hair. So, um, and there's some pretty cool natural, um, hair dyes. So we can get into that at some point. So if you join my call tonight, we have a free open call, which is going to be the review for this brand, plus an open Q&A, uh, which means you can ask whatever you want. So I have questions right now that people are asking in OneDrop Club, but you can also go ahead and just come live onto the thing, onto the video. And if you don't have the link, uh, it's any link that you can see where it says like, we're joining live. It's the same link. It's a Zoom link. That's the same every time. You won't need a password right now. It has a waiting waiting room, but you won't, you won't need that. So it's pretty good. Like I'm, I'm always like pretty impressed with the fact that this will cover over my part. It is so wet outside. I just washed my hair and it looks not great. <laughs> so that's the way it goes when it's pouring outside. But it's a nice thing because you can definitely cover over grays and it will stay put. So that's just using. And this was using, I because I didn't want to buy two full ones, I bought the little starter kit. And so this was a smaller one. So this is the original one. So this does have bismuth in it. So if you don't want bismuth on your hairline, if it, if it's an irritant for you, it's not for me, but for some of you, it is, then you would want to, um, make sure you get a matte version. So the ones that say matte under here are good to go fully clean. So there you go. And again, that would be just like, if you're just trying to find a mineral match, the bare minerals matte is, is clean. Um, I can't save that for most of their other products. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's it. So we will see you all tonight for 430 Pacific time. All right. And if you're just watching the replay, welcome to the replay. Bye guys.